welcome to today's extra video. I actually just wanted to sit down and make this video for you guys because I left today's video in a cliffhanger and I was unable to talk about it last night with you guys and I wanted to finish the conversation and explain what is happening with Storm. So I decided that I'm gonna tell you guys this story in the form of a story and try and see if that helps you guys make more sense of it because this is a really hard topic for me. It's so stressful and I know that some of you guys are going to be stressed out as well and I just think maybe this will make it softer and make it easier to understand and so that's what I'm going to try and do. Okay, so this story starts three years ago when, uh, when an 11 year old girl was dreaming and wishing and praying for her first horse and she didn't know for sure she would ever get a horse like many of you guys and she wanted a horse so badly a horse of her own in fact the barn that she went to for riding lessons most of the girls at that barn had their own horse so it seemed to this 11 year old girl like everybody she knew had their own horse except for her and then a miracle happened and suddenly her parents decided to surprise her with her dream horse for her 11th birthday and it was beautiful and magical and it seemed like they were made for each other he was her dream color and her dream he was her dream color and her dream size and another thing that was really amazing was that it, it was his birthday just a few short weeks before hers they were both born in april and they were both tauruses and they really seemed to mesh like that her good side when she was riding was his good side and his bad side was her bad side and she loved this horse and in fact this horse was exactly what she needed because the 11 year old girl was a little nervous and she was just learning to jump and the horse was a little nervous and he was just learning to jump and they learned together and it was it was incredible to see and the girl loved the horse so much you would not believe she learned so much on him and she did a lot with him she went swimming for the first time with him and she took him on trails for the first time and she did amazing things she did things with her friends and their horses with her horse and she was just so glad to have him and she loved him so much so the girl and her horse that seemed to be a uh, match made in heaven they went on day after day bonding and growing and becoming more and more and more and more and more of a team and both of them knew that they would be together forever and that is what we planned that is what she wanted that was her dream and and unfortunately what the little girl did not know at the time was that sometimes first horses are what you need when you need it and not what you need later this horse taught the girl to be confident and to be brave and to and to feel safe and and he taught her so many things but sadly the time came where the girl was ready to do different things she was so excited to do shows and to to do higher level things with her horse and she took her horse to the shows and her horse hated it she was so excited to go and do all these new amazing things and her horse did not want to do new and amazing things he loved the 11 year old little girl and he wanted her to stay the way that she was and she wanted him to grow and change into what she had become and it was really difficult for the horse and for the girl and for about a year the girl and the horse fought a lot they argued and they fought and she would say I want you to do this and he would say I'm not doing that and she would say you do it and he would say no and it just was a battle of wills all the time and so often the girl would be sad that he didn't want to do what she wanted to do and so often the horse would be so upset and he would fight back and he would kick out and he would tell her no and the girl never wanted and not any other horse she knew in her heart that the only horse that was good for her was this first horse of hers and so even though her family and her trainer said you need a new horse someone that wants to do the things that you want to do the girl 
the girl rebelled and said no. She refused to even acknowledge that that was a possibility. She only wanted her horse and she only wanted him to do the things that she wanted. Another summer came and went and the girl wanted to go to shows and she did go to shows and her and the horse fought the whole entire way through the shows and and every time her parents would say it's time to get a new horse she would cover her ears and she would cry and she would say no it's never happening and the parents were so upset and worried about the girl because they knew that for her to pursue her dreams that she would need another horse and they also knew that if she wasn't allowed to keep that horse or if she got a new horse that it would that her heart would be broken and so the parents and the trainers didn't want her heart to be broken but they wanted the horse to be happy and they wanted the girl to be happy and it was becoming clearly evident that neither one wanted the same thing and so a lot of people told them you need to sell that horse because you would need a new horse or they would say that you can't keep two horses if you get a new one because one always gets left out and the family was like, no, that will never happen. We will never leave our horse out because the time did come when the parents insisted that the girl get a new horse. Up until the very moment that the parents and the trainer took her to look at another horse, she was adamant that she was not getting another. But one day she did go and look at another horse and she climbed on top of that horse and she felt alive again. She felt like maybe this horse wanted to do more, wanted to do the things that she wanted to do. And her heart was broken, but she was willing to try and she knew that she would keep her first horse and she knew that she would have the new horse. And for about a year, she did just that. She got the new horse and she showed the new horse and she worked with the new horse and she, she learned the new horse and they started to bond and, and come closer together. And she rode the other horse and she took the other horse, her first horse places that he liked to go like on trail rides. And she took the new horse and did the things that she wanted to do with him and everything seemed wonderful. And then the next summer, um, she moved up in levels. She started to show at a level that required more practice and more skill and more learning. And she ended up spending more and more and more of her time at the barn with the new horse, practicing and working towards being better at the show. And the first horse started to get left behind. And the family fought against it and, and, and they tried everything and they they got other people to come and ride the horse. They they got other kids to come and have lessons on the horse and they, they rode the horse, the mom rode the horse, the sister rode the horse. Everybody tried to keep it together. Sometimes the girl would take her new horse out of the field and the old horse would come behind and he would want to go and they would have to say, no, not your turn today and he would have to stay. And it was sad and they had fought so long and so hard, but it, they were finding it really difficult to keep up with the first horse. And even though people said that that would happen, they knew that they would fight as hard as they could. So the family knew that they would never ever get rid of this horse because this was the heart of their family. This was the family's first horse. This is the horse that taught them everything to ride, to love, to, to be horse people. And they knew that this horse was in their heart forever. And, but they still felt worried and lost and, and they didn't know what to do to keep the horse at his happiest and so one day the girl was was having a lesson with her horse with her new horse and and at the end of her lesson the trainer said to the girl I need your first horse I need him can I use him can I have him I need to use him in my lesson program because our beginner horse is throwing fits and not doing well and I need another beginner horse and that was what was great about this horse is that all he wanted in life was to carry young kids around he loves little kids he loved little kids and and the girl grew and that was the biggest thing that happened to them is that she grew and she changed and she left and and so the trainer asked the girl he said can I have him can I use him can I use him in my program and the girl sat on her new horse 
and she thought about it for a minute and she said and she said yes I think that, that would be good for him and so the parents were shocked that the girl was was willing to let somebody else take charge of her horse and and they told the trainer well we'll talk about it because like we can't just give you our horse to use that would just be like we need to talk about it and so the parents talked about it and at first they were adamant and said no like this horse loves his friends and he loves his field and we love him and he loves us and then we realized that we were being selfish because the horse had an opportunity to be loved by a little girl again and in fact to be loved by many little girls again and so then they started to think like maybe this could work maybe this could happen but there would have to be rules there would have to be rules because they loved this horse so much that they were never going to just let him go someplace and and fall through the cracks and they knew that they needed to make rules so the parents phoned the trainer and they said okay if we let you use our horse if we let you use her horse there have to be rules and he said okay what are they and we said he needs to keep the same farrier because the farrier that he has does good job on his feet and he said okay he can keep the same farrier and the, and the parents said okay he needs the same food he needs to be fed two times a day and he needs grain and he needs a, a stabilizer and he needs that two times a day and the trainer said okay I can do that and then and then the parents said, and the girl needs to still see the boy. He, she needs to be able to school him and ride him when she needs to and when she wants to. And the trainer said, okay, we can do that. And the parents said, he needs to have his chiropractor sometimes. And they said, and her trainer said, okay, that is not a problem. The girl was gonna still own the horse and see the horse and could pull him out at any time if there was a problem. So, with every new choice and new decision, there are good things and there are bad things. And it was a really hard choice, but the family and the girl decided to let the horse go and pursue new things. So the girl's first horse is gonna be a lesson horse for small young kids and this horse is going to be supervised by her beloved trainer and governed over by the girl herself and her family and they will check on him and be with him and ride him as often as they can. So that is the story of the girl and her first horse and the worst and the hardest decision that she had to make, that she ever had to make. And I want you guys to know that it takes a lot of maturity and strength to make a decision for an animal that you love. And to be able to do that at 14 years old is admirable, I feel like. And I feel like this is gonna be the best decision that we can make right now and if something changes and it becomes not the best decision that we can make then we can make changes again this 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 is the best choice we have right now and it is the decision that makes the most sense to us and it seems right right now it seems hard it seems sad it seems awful and the day that we say goodbye is going to be horrific I hope you guys will support our decision and understand and I hope that me telling you this in the form of a story really helps you understand. Our dream and our hope is the storm of love toting around little kids and that the little kids will love him and we'll make sure that they have lots of treats to give him and we'll be watching and taking care of him and making sure he still has everything that he needs. But anyway, I want to share that with you guys and tell you where we're at with the whole storm thing. And I wanted to tell you before it happens, I wanted to keep you guys updated. So many of you guys have been here for the whole journey of Storm and we love him and he's our beloved horse and we're just trying to do the best thing for him. Don't you know that you're beautiful?